Hey, this is Drew Baird from Moon Audio and welcome back. On Tech Tuesday, we brought up the topic of electrostatic headphones and how are they different? Let's think of an electrostatic headphone basically as a capacitor. You have a thin membrane in the center that is covered with a electrical conductive material that is between two grids, if you will. And these grids are charged with a very high bias DC voltage. In the case of some of the Stax headphones, it's around 850 to 870. And in the, and in the um, uh, case of Warwick Acoustics, which I'm going to show you a brand new headphone from them, it's at about 1300 volts. Very, very high voltage to, to essentially create an excitement of these panels. And as you pass the electrical signal from the signal side through this, it then excites it and moves it back and forth. So this is a little bit different than a dynamic driver. As with a dynamic driver, we've got the driver on one side and on the other side, we're using a magnet. Now on the, now on the, now on the coil, you've got an electrical winding. And essentially as you pass electrical signals through this magnet, positive and negatives, uh, uh, um, work against each other or with each other to move that driver in and out. But where with an electrostatic headphone, and here are the new Warwick Breveria uh, headphones, we're using a panel and we're exciting a grid. And in Warwick's case, they're using a grid only on one side, but they're using with their honeycomb side of the, uh, of the driver, there's the negative plates that will pass the electrical signal through that thin membrane that has that conductive surface on it. So that's why they use a much higher bias voltage because they're only using the grid on one side. So an electrostatic headphone requires a specialized plug, if you will, and Stax uses this type of plug, which is a, fi a five pin uh, DIN, if you will. One of the pins is for that bias voltage to get those panels excited. And then the other four are positive and negative for left and right. If we look down here at Warwick Sonoma amp, we're using a little bit of a different connector style, but the same principles uh, come into play here where we've got a bias voltage and then we've got signal uh, voltages that pass on to the headphones. So electrostatic headphone amps can't be used with dynamic headphones and a dynamic headphone amp can't be used with electrostatic headphones. They are separate systems. You are somewhat, when you get into the electrostatic headphone uh, arena, married to a system. You can get other pairs of electrostatic headphones, not so much with Warwick Acoustics because their headphones work as a package. Um, they do have two headphones for the Sonoma amp, but for the Aperio, there's only one because the bias voltages are totally different. But when you get into Stax headphones and some other headphones like I have here, we've got the Voce from Dan Clark and we've got the uh, Shangri-La Jr. from Hi-Fi Man. These work more on the conventional uh, 850 to 870 bias voltages, and you can interchange these headphones with an amplifier that has those bias voltages. So, you know, electrostatic limits you in some ways that you can only use a few certain different headphones with a few certain different headphone amps, but it is a way to get a totally different and amazing sound. Electrostatic headphones are very detailed. They're very dynamic. They're very fast. They can be sometimes called bass light headphones, but as you get into the much more expensive headphones, you will pick up on really good bottom end. Not like, say, from some of the planar magnetic headphones out there. Those will give a lot of bass, and those aren't electrostatic. Those are a totally different design, which I won't touch on today because I don't want to confuse you too much. But essentially, you know, with a dynamic driver or a planar dynamic driver, it's a lot easier to get low end bass out of these devices. Whereas with a, an electrostatic, it's a little bit harder. But if you listen to jazz and classical and Americana, anything with acoustics, electrostatics are fantastic. So hopefully I've introduced you to a little bit about electrostatic headphones and the differences between them and dynamic. I didn't want to get into too complicated of, uh, of you know, all the ins and outs of them. But, but know that they are very different and they work totally different and, and you can't cross platforms. Hope you've enjoyed today's uh, topic. Please leave us any comments or questions that we can get back to you and make sure to subscribe uh, on our YouTube page and our Facebook uh, and Instagram pages.